The Starbucks in Scottsboro was closed Saturday while its striking workers protested outside the building. Yeah, the walkout came after the workers say numerous complaints against the franchise were left unresolved. News 19's Mariah Weeks joins us now with more. Mariah, what are the employees asking for? Better working conditions, Steve. They say those still working at the store are facing health risks due to neglected safety violations. Workers at the Starbucks on John T. Reed Parkway say they are dealing with unfair labor practices and safety violations, according to a statement from Starbucks Workers United. Employees say formal complaints against the company have been ignored, and some of those reports mention water leaks, broken equipment, and lack of staffing. Those who do work at the store say they battle hazardous working conditions daily. A statement from Starbucks Workers United also mentions employees falling and getting hurt because of water leaks. The store in Scottsboro is the second Starbucks in Alabama to unionize, and one employee says members of the union have filed formal complaints against the company to no avail. I reached out to a few of the employees that participated in the strike yesterday. Carla Gonzalez responded in a statement saying in part, we went on strike strike for health and safety issues. It had nothing to do with wages. Change needs to happen at our store for the better of both the employees and the customers that still come. As of this morning, the Starbucks franchise has not released a statement regarding the strike, and Gonzalez tells me that the store will reopen for regular business hours today. Reporting live this morning, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.